coming along today uh, for us to do uh, a viewing, a live stream viewing of our accommodation. Uh, I hope you like it. I'm going to take you through some of the majority of the room types that we've got, uh, but not necessarily all of them, uh, because we have so many options available here. But we can do private viewings for anybody that would like to see a particular type of room. So firstly, what I wanted to do was to show you uh, how close we are to the university buildings. So we'll just pop outside uh, and I'll show you what we've got and how close we are. So this is the, the front of uh, Calcutt Head um, and we're on the main street called Far Gosford Street. Uh, which has got lots and lots uh, of shops along there. We've got a local supermarket one minute away. Um, so you can just see just past there, the signs of local. That's a local supermarket, so you're literally one minute away from the supermarket. What you've also got, uh, just in front of us there, uh, so the big brown building with the uh, blue windows. Uh, that's the William Morris building, uh, where a lot of the lectures, particularly business related lectures, take place. And just beyond that is the Lancaster Library, which is the University Main Library. So the time it takes you to walk from the front of the accommodation to those is about two minutes. Um, so you don't really get any closer than that. And then just beyond that, just over the bridge, uh, is the main campus. So we're literally five minutes away from the main campus. So we're really good location, uh, really close, um, and it's great uh, for the early morning lectures as well as ones in the evening when you want to get back and relax. Uh, we're in a great uh, location for that. Uh, so we're now going to go back inside uh, through our reception, main reception area, which is where you would come in and out of every morning. And I'm going to show you, start showing the accommodation types. And we're going to start with the classic ensuite for you. Yeah. represents uh, what a classic ensuite looks like. So if you want to come through. So this is our classic ensuite bedroom. So as you can see, what you have in here is a three quarter bed. So it's just slightly smaller than a double bed. Um, uh, you've got plenty, you've got a good sized desk. There's plenty of storage space. There's cupboards over there, ones on the wall. You've also got three drawers there, and there is a wardrobe behind you as well. Okay, every all of our accommodation, with the exception of the two bed flats, is en suite. Uh, so you have your own private bathroom uh, with a shower fitting in there. And Christian, who is controlling the video, will take you and show you what that looks like. did mean to say that if you've got any questions, if we can leave them till the end, unless they're burning questions, and we'll pick them up in the question and answer time uh, at the end of that. So if you want to come through, I'll show you what the shared kitchens look like. So this is a shared kitchen uh, for the classic style accommodation. Um, so you have a fully working oven and hob. There's a microwave included. Um, you obviously can bring all your own things like a kettle and toaster and things like this is set up obviously to show what it can look like. Uh, plenty of cupboard space, uh, a good drawer space, and obviously you've got the sofas, plenty of notice boards, heaters are in the room, so it's all really set up for everything that you need. Okay, so if we carry on, next thing we're going to go and look at is a classic studio. So this is for those that want to live uh, on their own or want to live with someone else. Uh, we do have studios available. So we're going to walk across the courtyard uh, and we're going to go into B block uh, and I'm going to show you what these studios look like. Notice as we've just come through the door um, that we controlled on a fob system. So to get into the front of the building, you will be issued with a grey fob. That opens all of the block doors and you will only have access, and other students only have access to areas that they're allowed to be. 
Um, so it's a really secure site. To get into rooms, you have a white card, and I'll show you how that works when we get to the studio. So if you want to follow me. You can see that we've got a wide open space here, um, which is largely to do with car parking, but we are intending to put some seating out here in the central courtyard, so there's space for people to come outside, get some fresh air, relax under cover. Um, so we're hoping to get all of that done uh, before September, but it might take us a little bit longer. But just bear with us, it is coming. We're now heading towards the entrance to B Block. Um, so um, Palcott Hill is a very big site. There are 733 bedrooms and we have nine different blocks. As you can see then, just press the fog to open the door. And we're going to just pop it like this. Now, B Block has got six floors and there is a lift. Should we show them? There is a lift that we've got. Um, all of our big blocks have got lifts in them. Um, so you are you won't be carrying everything all up the stairs. Smaller blocks don't, but they're only a couple of floors. So we'll walk up to the first floor and I'll show you what the studio looks like. As I was explaining, white card, which if you want to just come around, there you go. So, white card into the lock. Try again, and you're in. Welcome to the classic studios. So, they're a really good size. Um, so, this one is about, uh, I think it's about 27 square meters. So, it's a really good size, and they're available on 51 week contracts for all that kind of information. You can get from new homes. Um, plenty of storage space. You can store things under the bed. You've got wardrobe, units, desks, a little coffee table. In the studios, you do get double wall units, which is always useful. One of the great things about our studios is you do get a proper oven and a proper four ring hub and a full size fridge freezer. So it's, it's a really good space and it is all very self-contained. You've got your breakfast bar here. So you've got space to sit and eat. And as I mentioned, the majority of our accommodation is on suite. So you can have a look at the bathroom there. Okay, right, so again, as I explained, we are a big side, so it's a bit of walking again. So we're going to head back out into the courtyard, and I'm going to take you and show you um, our premium en suite. So the original blocks that we've been and looked at so far, the classic and the classic studios, uh, those were part of the original build, and they're being refurbished this summer, because you may have noticed that a different colour in here as there was in the other one. It's because they're all being repainted over summer. Um, so they were built uh, about 10, 12 years ago, um, but they're still in really good condition. Uh, the premium blocks were actually built in 2016, so they're only four years old. Um, so they're a bit more modern. Um, so we're going to take you now and show you what the premium looks like. And there's three different types of premium rooms that I'm going to show you. A premium 2, premium 3 and a premium 4. And the difference between all of those rooms is about a floor size, which you will see when we go over there. So we'll head back out into the courtyard uh, and we'll go into the uh, hedge block. Chain your bike up so it's nice and safe and secure. Uh, so this is 
cage block. Okay, so we're going to pop in here and again we're going to pop up to the first floor and I'm going to show you what the premium accommodation looks like. So as you can see, the main difference with the premium accommodation is the furniture, uh, which is white, as opposed to uh, the cream furniture in the classics. Uh, bed base is slightly different as well, uh, but what it does have is under bed storage. So you've got loads of space under there to be storing items. Obviously you've got your desk drawers there as well, um, full length mirror, heaters, usual that you would expect. And Christian will show you what the bathroom looks like. Okay, so that's a premium two. Uh, so we'll now take you show you the premium, premium three, which you'll notice is slightly bigger. Uh, we won't go into the bathrooms in the other two premiums uh, because they're exactly the same as that one, but I'll show you the difference in floor space. Okay, follow me. here at the floor it's a little bit wider and um, so it gives you a bit more space uh, in order to move about and that really is the fundamental difference between uh, a pre-1 and a p2 oh, sorry a p2 and a p3 so premium 2 and a premium 3 And then we'll quickly just have a look at the premium four so you can see again the difference in floor space. So again, um, difference in here is purely down to the amount of floor space you've got. So you can see with the premium floors, it is quite considerably bigger. You do have much, much more floor space. Oh, right, okay, so you've got some questions. Wow, bigger, yep, yeah. so many different room types. We have got a lot of different room types. Uh, what is the difference besides the room type? There is no difference. It purely is about floor size. So P1s, P, uh, sorry, P2s, P3s and P4s, Furnishings are exactly the same. The difference purely is uh, uh, floor space. Let's have a look. We've got some other questions here. Uh, how about the speed of the Wi-Fi? Okay, um, so that is up to um, when you're plugged in. Uh, so your internet service, if you're plugged in, is up to 200 megabytes. Um, it's 70, I believe, over Wi-Fi, but I will get that clarified. Okay. I don't think there's any more questions at the moment. Okay. We'll definitely go through any other questions that you've got at the end. Um, so we've got five or more. So um, we've got um, one last space to show you, and this is going to be our shared common space. Um, so we'll take you uh, and show you the shared common space because we are really proud of it. It has recently been refurbished and it's never actually been used by any new students. So our guys who come in September 
uh, will be the first people to use it. Okay, so if you want to follow me, we'll go back out to the main area. Did you by chance lock the, the common room? I have indeed. Have you got the keys with you? I have, yes. Oh, well done, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I, I kept them on me just in case. You know. Marvellous. So um, we're just going to pop in. Whilst uh, Christian unlocks the common room, I'll just quickly show you the laundry. I'll quickly show you the laundry space. So it's all run um, by uh, circuit, uh, so you can download an app and the app will cover everything that you need it to. Um, all the machines have been replaced uh, for September, so they're all brand new machines, uh, so they should all work perfectly well. Okay. Okay, so you've just somebody's just had a question about how much for washing. Um, so we are actually looking to reduce the price because uh, we took over the building in October. Um, so at the moment, uh, I think for to do with a wash and a dry together, it comes to about four pound fifty. But we are looking to bring the price down. Once I've got confirmation of that, I will let your consultant at New Homes know uh, exactly what the price is going to be from September onwards. Okay. So, welcome to our common space. So this is the first of two rooms. So we've got a downstairs and an upstairs. Uh, we're still finishing this off. Uh, you'll notice there's a big empty space here. What we are going to be doing is putting some more furniture, like these benches that we've got here. Uh, so we'll be adding more benches to the space. Um, what we've also got, once we've got comfortable sofas, these are all brand new, they've been never been used. And we've got a dual working space. Christian will lead you through there. So what we've got here is a space that's designed for you to do communal working. So if you're working as a group and you've got a presentation to prepare for, you can hire out this room, have it exclusively for yourself. There's a big screen for you to use. You can link your laptop up to it. And obviously you've got a good size desk for you to work on as well as individual desks there. So it's a really good, useful space that you can use in order to work with people. You don't have to live on site. So if you've got friends that are living here or friends that are living in another accommodation, if you're a resident here, you can book this room out and you can bring your friends in and you can all work together. Okay? I'll take you upstairs and I'll show you the games area. table tennis table all of our stuff here is free to use there's no charge for any of this we've got some lovely comfortable seating areas we've got little stools and tables that you can sit at with your friends there's a free coffee machine table tennis table you just come and get the bats and the balls from the reception hand over your uni card when you bring them back we give you your uni card back Side of the pool table, um, you just come and get the sticks of us um, and the triangle. When you bring it back, we we'll give you a card back. This is our new design area. So we're halfway through getting our cinema space sorted. So on the back wall where you see the big hole, there's going to be a massive screen and there's going to be a projector attached to that. So we're going to have regular film nights or if there's something particular sporting event that you want to watch, or a TV series you want to watch with your friends again, this space can be used whether you're a resident here or not. 
Um, as long as you, uh, somebody amongst the group is a resident, you can utilize the space. Okay, right. So there is a very quick whistle stop tour uh, of uh, Calcutta. So, Christian and I will grab a seat here uh, and he's going to read out any questions that you might have. So, Christian, grab a seat and I'll get one here and sit on this very comfortable yellow chair. So um, we've gone through the first questions, haven't okay, we? Okay, yes. So is there any other questions um, that you guys had? Fancy towards me. Yes. Um, so what was the difference with, besides the room size within the, um, the room two? The, the answer so the there. actual square, uh, square metre each. Um, the honest answer is uh, I don't have that information at the moment because my electronic tape measure only arrived uh, yesterday. So I haven't had a chance to measure them. So what I will do is measure them this afternoon. I'll send that information over to you, Holmes, and they will be able to answer that question for you. Have you got the how much is for washing? Um, so we, we talked about the washing. Um, so the, the cost of the washing, um, at the moment, to do a wash and a dry, I believe, is about four fifty. Um, but we are looking to bring that price down because uh, that was set by the previous owners. And like I said, we took over in October. So again, I will get that in once that has been confirmed exactly what the price is going to be. For September onwards, we will contact View Homes and we will let them know. But at the moment, it's about four fifty to do a wash and a dry. Great. Um, no more questions as of yet. So. Okay. So have you guys got any questions? Is there anything that you would like to add? Anything that you, you, you're interested in that you, you don't feel we've covered? Question mark at the end of this, but it's not in. I think it's in Chinese. Shelley, should it? Yeah, we'll probably translate that. Can reception help to receive parcel? We absolutely can. So we are redesigning as part of the works that are happening over the summer. Uh, reception that we just walked through, and the reason why I didn't show it to you is because it won't look like that. Uh, so um, at the moment uh, we, we're behind a shutter, that's all going to change and we're building a massive storage space so we will take in your post, your parcels and because we're a 24 hour man site so there is always somebody on site, if you want to you can come and get your post at 3 o'clock in the morning, it's entirely up to you, um, so there will always be someone there to take your parcels in uh, and to take your post in, yeah. yeah um, how far is this building from the uni? Okay, so from the uh, William Morris building, which is where I believe most of the, the business courses happen, and the, the library, it's a two minute walk. To walk into the main campus, it's five minutes on a straight road. Which rooms book the best? Which rooms book the best? Oh, that's a really difficult question because everybody has got very, very different requirements. Um, so I wouldn't say necessarily any book better than others. Um, I, I think it comes down to personal preference. Um, can I book with my friend in the same flat and you, know the location? Absolutely you can. So when you go on, uh, you hands will be able to help you this. They can make a request um, and when we allocate, if you just put down, I would like to share with this person, we will make sure that you're in a flat together. Any requirements like that, if you want a female only flat, always do our level best to make sure that we meet your requirements. If you want to be on a particular floor, you don't want to be on a ground floor, you want to be on a high floor, again, we will do everything we can to assist with those kinds of requests. Can we choose floor and facing? Yes, we're working on the facing. Um, so as I explained, obviously, it's uh, 733 beds and it's a lot of rooms to go and check uh, and to see which way they face. Um, but we are working on that to work out which faces um, north, south, east and west. Uh, we're also working on a grid which will tell us how much natural light a particular room has because I know that's sometimes one of the key considerations. So we don't have that information at the moment but it is something that we are working on. But certainly you can definitely say I want to be this facing and we can definitely look at that uh, and certainly the same with regards to floor height. Is there any charges if students have pets? You're not allowed to have pets. So as part of the tenancy agreement, it does actually say that you cannot have pets. And pretty much all student accommodations throughout the UK say exactly the same thing. So I'm very sorry, we don't allow pets. How many floors? Um, so B and C block are six floors. Uh, a block is three. 
uh, H block is 5, J block is 4, F block is 3, E block is 2, and D block, I believe, is 3, it might be 4. So as I said, there is so much range, so many offers, so many different types that we can accommodate virtually anybody's requirements because we're such a big site, such a lovely big community that we can really sort of look after all requirements. Do you have discount now? Well, we have some offers on the site. Um, you do need to speak to you homes, um, but they will, and they will obviously always sort those out. We do have a, a low deposit, um, so that makes it attractive, and there is a cashback offer. But speak to your you homes representative, uh, and they will make sure that you get the best deal that's out there. Now, how do we book? Okay, so speak to your you homes consultant. Um, so they will do all of that for you. They are one of our preferred partners. It's somebody that we love working with. So they understand our accommodation. They understand how we work extremely well. And they will be able to assist you um, straight away in terms of getting the booking sorted. Do we have a gym? We don't have a gym, but what we are providing people with from this September, and our area manager, Nick, who you will meet because he's here all the time, um, is sorting out a gym membership deal uh, with a local gym. Um, so although you don't have one on site, what you can do is have one. But we will have regular sessions. So we're, we're blessed with having such good communal space that we are thinking about the kind of events we're having. So we might have a PT day and bring a PT in for you so that you can do some circuit training with them. Because we've got so much lovely floor space and it's so airy that there is a whole range of things we can do. But we are looking at having a gym uh, associated uh, to the property. What is the closing time for the study room? Um, so, we, as part of the reception redesign, we are building a private study space in there as well. So there will be, a, by the time we get to September, there will be three communal spaces. So the quiet study space, which will be advised out by reception, will be open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The, the space that we're in at the moment, um, they will open at nine o'clock in the morning and they will close at 11 o'clock at night. Um, simply because obviously we don't want everybody to make loads and loads of noise and we are, there are so many spaces in Coventry that you can go to but we try and keep them open to a reasonable hour. Which year has this property built and how long has this property been about? Okay, so um, there's, there's two answers, well there's three answers to that. Um, so the building that we're sat in at the moment, and Christy can you just, just focus on that wall at the, at the other side? Okay, so you can see that's an old style building. Um, that dates back to 1896. Uh, so the name Calcott 10, if you want to come back to me, Christy, thank you. So the name Calcott 10 relates to uh, a car that was built actually on the site of where we're sat at the moment by the Calcott brothers. Um, and the bit that we're sat in at the moment uh, is part of that original building that was built in 1896. So this section is 1896. The classic accommodation, which is the first accommodation that we looked at, was built in 2007 um, and we are refurbishing it this summer. Um, so by September it will be repainted, we're changing the work surfaces, we're looking at recoating the cabinets. So there's loads of upgrade work that's happening in those rooms. Um, so that's happening over summer. That was built in 2007, 2008, so that's sort of 13, 12, 13 years old. Uh, and height block, which is the premium, and the second premium block, J block, um, those were built in 2016, so they are four years old. Right, now, is the reception 24 hours? It is. We are here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Um, so you would, if you come and stay with us, you'll meet the wonderful Mo, uh, Mohammed, who covers reception on Monday to Thursday through the night, uh, and he's our regular guard, and then we have... Uh, a company that come in and cover it for the weekends and the weekend days. Um, so, but there is always somebody here. We also have a 24 hour uh, seven day week helpline. So even if you can't, for whatever reason, get out of your room and speak to somebody, you can WhatsApp um, to the guys on reception. They have a mobile phone where you can contact them or you can ring our 24 hour helpline that will, will be able to get some help to you straight away. Will this accommodation have many Chinese students and is there any local Chinese markets? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, I'm new to Coventry, so I don't know if there's a Chinese market. I can't imagine for one minute that there isn't uh, because I know there are a lot of Chinese students that live um, and study in Coventry. Um, but I can find that out and I will let the Huron guys know. 
uh, with regards to the number of students, our second biggest proportion of students are Chinese students. Um, so yeah, absolutely, there, there are a lot uh, of Chinese students and we're always happy uh, to accept more. I'm trying to learn Chinese, Cantonese, so I've, I've got as far as Ni Hao, um, and I believe it's Shea she Andrea, I think that means my name is Andrea, but I'm sure you're probably right if I've got that wrong. Right, that's uh, the end of the questions. Right, okay, fantastic. Um, guys, I'm so grateful for you tuning in. I hope you like what you've seen. Please do speak to your Homes Consultants if you've got any further questions. More than happy uh, to assist. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, because there are room types that we haven't shown, if you do desperately want to see a particular room type, if you can let your U Homes Consultant know, um, and they will make a booking for us to do a private Skype viewing for you, or we may do a second U Homes uh, live stream. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for your time. Really grateful for you tuning in. I hope you love your seat and we hope to see you in September.